learner mannequins interactions, an element in achieving high fertility simulation. Post cardio versions, the ventricular tachycardia with pulse remain status quo. The mannequins appear as if non interactive. Without feedback, simulation is monotonous and jeopardizes learners' immersive learning experience. This video shares two techniques in enhancing learners' mannequins' interactions. Option 1. Click ECG Rhythm at the Instructor Applications. In Edit Running Rhythm window, there is a running tag and a waiting tag. Set a proceeding ECG Rhythm and blood pressure in the waiting tag. Mannequin and instructor PC synchronize views. Note that waiting rhythm, i.e. Tossat deploys, has been activated by the defibrillation. The edit running rhythm window indicates the previous commands of waiting text has replaced the commands of running tag. Alternatively, program the scenario with mannequin's auto sensor. These are the responses linked to the mannequin's inbuilt sensor. In sim designers, program scenario with these responses allow learners' actions on mannequins to trigger subsequent scenario events. This is an example of scenario with this concept. For instance, characteristic pulse here will progress the sinus ventricular tachycardic event to normal sinus rhythm. In contrast, upon the heart rate fall to about 80 beats per minute, the sinus ventricular tachycardic will be triggered again. Demonstrations of this mini scenario with recorded trial runs. Karatek massage is performed here to slow the sinus ventricular tachycardic rhythm. Note the transient normal sinus rhythm effects and reverted to sinus ventricular tachycardia. Another attempt of carotid massage. Note the ECG interval and pulse rate change faster or earlier in compared to the heart rate. In additional, scenario guided with automated events can be executed without mannequin operator on site. Alright, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.